Uh oh. I think this is game over, guys. I think this is how it ends. Unless... Oh, I'm so done. I'm so done. Hey everybody, what's up? And welcome back to another video featuring a... Dead Allosaur, apparently? I figured today was a good day to do some quick little Carno, I mean Pike No gameplay. I've been playing this guy a lot in my spare time, as you could tell by the, uh, the sheer amount of scars he's got on him. I've been in a lot of fights as this guy, and after experiencing a lot of them, I am pretty darn convinced that Pykno is one of the best dinosaurs in the game. What I've been learning in this game is that um, the mid-tiers are more of apexes than the actual apexes are. Case in point, the Spino that looks pretty beat up. I'm gonna pick some flowers because, you know, that's what you're supposed to do in dinosaur games, apparently. Take flowers and stuff them in a beehive. Makes total and complete sense. Iggy's going for water. Perfect time to ambush. Crouch. Hopefully he doesn't see me. Alright, let's go for it. I'm being really lazy with this ambush. But it worked anyway. Recreating Disney's dinosaur here. Um, actually I'd rather not do that because then that means I lose. But I'm also not kaiju-sized. If I was kaiju-sized, that means I'm very obviously the bad guy. It's always, I'm sure to win because my speed is superior. So, uh, you know, actually, my speed is superior, he's stronger than me, so technically I do have the underdog advantage here. Uh, tail whip. Yep, I forgot, that's a thing, Iguanodon has a back kick. Good thing I was... <laughs> I was prepared. I was prepared for the wrong thing for the right reason. Spacing in Path of Titans is very important with the tail whip. It, it is one of the biggest factors in combat. I see a lot of people who don't use their tail whip attacks, and it's like... You know, they, they use it to get, like, a bonus to their turn radius or something. I get the, uh, the want to do that, but at the end of the day, the tail attack is really better. It just makes your, uh, combat options so much more versatile. And we are really doing a number on this guy right now. Oh, shit! Okay, that didn't actually hurt as much as I thought it would. Uh, claustrophobic space. That could be advantageous or disadvantageous. It really depends. If you aim your tail whips right, you can, uh, see, but right there, I just got another one. Uh, it's just chipping away at his health slowly. There we go, another charge. Yeah, it those tail attacks just slowly chip away, and if someone's chasing you and running up your butt, you just kind of, like, act like you're scared of them, and just, you know, tail would play defensive. And a player who's too aggressive will eventually just be, you know, completely destroyed by you. Nice, nice, another ta See, this is what I mean. Tail Whip is a goaded attack on any and all dinosaurs. I, I highly recommend using it. Oh, is he gonna cross? I think he's gonna cross the river, actually. I wouldn't be surprised if he does. Youch, that hurt. Come on, don't do it. Don't be boring. Because then a, you know a croc's just gonna get- You! He's gonna turn- Every time with the crocodiles. You gotta be lame. You can't just make the fight fun. No, of course not. The crocodiles should not be in these dinosaur games. They kind of just ruin the fun. Like, I was having a great time, and then he decided to be all like, hee hee, I'm gonna run away because I'm getting dicked. Instead of, you know, being a good sport and staying for the fight. You no, know, I gotta run and cross the river. Crocodile thinks he's funny, picks and chooses their target, and mostly they're like, oh, the poor herbivore. Poor herbivore is being attacked. I'll kill the carnivore when no you should be going for the herbivore because you know it, it's providing way more food for you it's more nutritious but n now i don't even know if i'm gonna upload this iguanodon needs to be normalized in dinosaur games the fact that this is the only one that has him is a crime He's honestly great for a playable, too, for a playable herbivore especially. He's small enough to be a prey item for most things, yet he's large enough and also muscular enough, and he has the weaponry to fight back. So, you know, it's not like a situation of, like, you know, things like Myasaurs scratching their heads wondering why they can't kill anything. Oh my god, more Iggies. Look at that. I might actually go for that one over there instead. They are less aware of my presence. And there's only two of them. Let's go for it. 
Yeah, I got a big hit on him. Look at that gash in him. Nice, nice, nice. Got a tail hit. Let's go for another tail hit. There we go. Got it. I think we got it. What? He just tail whipped his friend. That's a little weird. There we go. Another tail whip. Tail whip again. Uh, circle around. Try and get a bite in. Nope. Dodge the tail whip. Tail whip. He hit his friend again. Good, good, good. Go for charge. Okay, lag. He just jittered and stabbed me. It's not too bad, though. I can shake it off. Get away from me, Iggy. Damn. Sit down see what happens. They're gonna charge me. Probably. Really? They're not? <laughs> just let me regain my stamina, I guess. I'm not gonna complain. Smack this friend again. Not that it really matters. The orange one's like barely damaged. Ah, oh, damn it. That was almost good. Where's he going? Are we gonna get a second Iguanodon trying to cross the river? What? Excuse me? Okay. Um, he's almost dead though. That's a good thing. Go, 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 go. Got him. Let's go. Hit him with the tail whip. GG's. Move along, buddy. No, no, he, he had a neurological failure. Alright. Fair enough. Pike nose or trash? I'm assuming that's him. I don't know, man. Seems like it was just an issue on your part. You weren't doing a very good job defending your friend. You were just chasing me left and right. Oh my god, the trophy for killing an Iguanodon is its foot. Apparently he's got a magic fifth foot hidden up his butt or something because he's still got all four feet here. Well, being that this is a semi-realism server, I'm pretty much required to sit here bored for the next 15-20 minutes until this body goes away. So, uh, I'll see you when something interesting happens, I guess. Body's gone. Let's go murder someone else. What do we have here? We have... An Argentino and a OC Anthomnia Dino and an Aleoramus. I could kill both of these guys right now. Probably one shot them because, you know, uh, of the damage bonus. But you know what? I'll sit with them instead. How about that? Semi realism, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this my two favorite dinosaurs in the game. Baby Yutsu showed up. <laughs> Ooh, that that roar. That roar goes hard. There's someone dead here. Who could that be? Is that a Packy? Those two dead things make that. Yeah, I can't even tell what those are. Um, it's a dead baby Iggy and a another dead baby Iggy, it looks like. That is... What's with the Iggy's today? They're literally everywhere. It's like a kill one, get ten free deal out here. You know what? Screw the Amargosaurus in particular. Oh man, I, I did a huge chunk of damage to that. We should be able to win this. So long as we don't, you know, take too many hits from him. Go for a charge. Ooh, that's a stomp. Yep, wow. That's the first time I've ever been hit by a stomp in Path of Titans. Kudos to this guy. The stomps are, like, impossible to land in this game. Maybe going for Tail Whips isn't the optimal strategy against an Amarga. Oh, definitely not. I should just focus on raw damage. Because if I chip away at him, he chips away at me. So it's best I just get a massive hit like this. Damn, okay. Where'd my health go? Come on, do another attack. Come on. Come on. Do it. Get him! Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I I should have this in the bag. One more charge and he's done for. Poor little old Marga. I, I kind of feel bad. To be honest, I could just say that I won here, you know? And then it's like, it just leave him. That way I don't have to sit with the body. Because, like, I'm going to kill him anyway. 
And it's an Amarga. And they're cute. And I like Amargasaurus. And I feel bad because he is so desperately trying to survive right now. But he's also being very evil towards me and chasing me. So, um, do I finish? Yeah, I'm gonna finish him. Whoa. He lived that. That's impressive. Now I'm thinking, does he deserve to die? Because he just tanked a whole ass charge to the face. Not that he had anything to do with that, you know, it's just that Amarg is sort of tanky. It's weird, he's tanky, but he's not. Do I let him live? I really don't know if I should let him live or not. He's still chasing me. I don't know what his goal is. He's trying so hard right now. I... You know what? I admire his spirit. I really do. He's got the heart of a lion right now. So, you know what? I commend him, honestly. He was totally at my mercy there. <laughs> and yet he charged forwards. I, I can respect that. The following Thursday. I am going to fight this Displito up here. And we're gonna see how it goes. I shouldn't have a problem winning this one. I may wait until he's done collecting flowers though. A courtesy thing. Let him get some marks before his inevitable death. What a cool dinosaur. I sure do hope it doesn't spend its life collecting flowers. He's a defense Displito too. You don't see those very often. I do really like the uh, defense build. It's a lot tankier looking and cooler looking than the, the default and the speed build. I kind of feel bad. You know what? Let's do it. He's going for a tail whip as well, I see. Smack them. Now we back up. Now we can go in for a charge. Oh yeah, we've already got him. Uh-oh. <laughs> How did I dodge that? <laughs> you know, I don't know if that's a bone break bite or like a heavy damage bite. It used to be the bone break bite, but they've, you know, they changed everything. That is a cool skin though, on his end. Is that like the backer skin or something? I wonder, is Displito faster than Pykna? Doesn't look like it. I think I'm just a little bit faster. That's what the headbutt's useful for, just doing little pokes like that. There we go. Yeah, Displito could probably use some uh, buffs, I don't know. I mean, maybe a damage buff? Like, I don't know. It just felt like it wasn't as intense of a fight as it should have been. I mean, he got me below half. Maybe it was just a skill issue on his part, I'm not quite sure. Three weeks later. Me and this other guy, Mr. Ostrich23, we're fighting these two Barsboldia right now. We're going for the big ones, so uh, I figured I'd start recording, because why not? Uh, he is playing smart. Yes, he's going for the cliff. Um, let's bait out a tail attack, or at least try to. I was considering going for the little one, but I just feel like that'd be mean. So, oh, the, he's slamming his friend there. That's probably not something that you want to do as a parent. Don't take parenting advice from Bars Boldias. That could probably get you in legal trouble. We got a Therry chilling, and we have an Amarga and an Argentino watching the fight. Trading for a tail whip, not bad. Go for it. Oh, nice bite, nice bite. Didn't think that would actually hit. There it is. Sorry, Mr. Ostrich. Didn't mean to step on your toes there. <laughs> oh, he just slammed his baby again. Oh, that's unfortunate for him. Nice, Mr. Ostrich. Oh, we got headbutted though. It's all right. We are doing a number on this guy. Big game hunter. Uh-oh. Okay, thank god that knocked him back so far. Tail whip? Nope, missed. I always forget the, uh, the tail whip attack has the most range when it's going to the left. So, uh, yeah, the right hitbox activates quicker, but there's more range on the left side. And uh, it's like that for pretty much every dinosaur, except for some dinosaurs I think it's the opposite, because it whips to the left first and then the right after. I don't know, it's kind of arbitrary, so 
depending on what dinosaur you play in Path of Titans, you should definitely learn where to throw the tail attack. Ow. That kind of hurt. But that's okay. Got another big sum of damage there. Now, hopefully Mr. Ostrich doesn't die, because if he does, then that means... I have to eat his corpse, which would be very embarrassing. <laughs> He's frustrated. <laughs> That's okay. We can do this. Please don't charge in there. I really don't blame them for doing this strategy. Ouch. That was a bad play on my part. Giga wants body. Oh, this Giga. Don't watch yourself. Okay, going for it. Go, go, go. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure there's a decent cooldown on the- oh god. There's a decent cooldown on the, uh, thingy. The tail whip, or tail slam from bars. Gotta capitalize on opportunities when you see them. Ow, that hurt. Oh, god, friendly fire. We are doing a big number on him, but the only problem is... We're just so fragile in comparison to him, and he's a tank. So, even just the couple hits he's got on me have put me in a relatively not great position. I can still fight for sure. But if we keep trading, then... Okay, perfect opportunity. Nice, nice, nice. Watch out for the little one! Alright, hopping down here. Another charge is almost ready to activate. Mr. Ostrich is following suit. Uh-oh. I don't like my spot. That was a really bad move on my end. I cornered myself on the cliff. Go for a charge! That... It was huge. <laughs> that was a headshot. Oh, sh <laughs> no! Back off! Back up! <laughs> that was a bad hit. I think he got headshot there. Mr. Ostrich is out of the fight. And the thing is, since we're grouped, I don't have my lone hunter buff. So if he wanted to be smart, he could uh, he could leave the uh, group. All right. Go for a tail. So okay, there we go. Ouch! That hurt. That really hurt. I should have done that earlier. I wouldn't have got hit otherwise. Okay. Don't let yourself get caught here. That would be pretty silly of me. <laughs> the baby Bars is really <laughs> trying to help out his parent here. I can respect that. I don't know Bars' healing rate. Uh, he's asking if I want to call it off. I don't really want to call it off, to be honest. Like, look how much progress we've made here. There we go. Another big hit. No, we can totally do this. I can definitely secure this kill. We are gonna secure the bag today, ladies and gentlemen. Hi, Packy. <laughs> Everyone's enjoying the show. What can I say? I am an entertainer at heart. Good thing is, we're not in combat, so Mr. Ostrich is getting heal time. But it's bad because the Bars Boldia is too. Well, we're in combat now. Going for the charge! I was hoping I'd knock him off the cliff there. Oh, crap. Get off my ass, please. Thank you. Uh, Fairy, sorry. I gotta let him know <laughs> that he's almost done. I could really use Mr. Ostrich's help right now. Going for a tail whip. Missed. By a hair. Or a scale in this case, I suppose. So funny to see the baby defending the parent. <laughs> that never happens. Yes, here comes Mr. Ostrich here to save the day. Alright, the odds are in our favor now. Go, 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 go! No, 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 don't go for the baby, come on. <laughs> go for the adult. God, we're so close. We have him. We have him on the ropes. Um, I'm gonna go down. This could be a good idea or a bad idea, depending on if they react to me going down here. They could technically cut me off here. Um, I don't like that. Don't like that at all. Uh-oh. Swim, 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 swim. Going for it! Yes! We got him! Whew. <laughs> I had to victory for that one. <laughs> oh, you're really gonna do this, Giga? <laughs> um, okay, let me just grab a piece. I'm gonna grab a piece. You know what? Sure, take it. I, I, I got my food. Whatever. Mr. Ostrich knew. <laughs> he knew he was gonna take that. <laughs> he just <laughs> yoinked a piece of the food from him. <laughs> That's funny. Pikes you can't steal. Says who? <laughs> yeah, Quetz, give him what he deserves. 
<laughs> he stole from him again. <laughs> Mr. Ostrich just does not care. You know what? I'll get in on this. <laughs> Sorry, realism rules. I ain't letting no... Let no BS arbitrary erm um, actuallys get in the way of our hard-earned kill. That's not happening today. Oh my god! That scared the life out of me! Sachiosaurus or whatever it is. You know, today is October 1st, actually, so that's a great start to the Halloween season. Just a freaking just chronosaur jump scare. Aw, he's waving at me. Hello to you too, buddy. This mod is sick. I just wish I could admire them more if they didn't have their faces in the ground. Oh, hey guys, I love you too. I'm going for a screenshot. I, I can't get a good one. Th their faces are just in the ground. That's so unfortunate. Oh well. <laughs> just two giant lumps. I love that emote so much. Jesus Christ. <laughs> the jump. Oh my god, here it comes again. <laughs> Is he gonna do one right over me? Oh, here he comes. <laughs> that could be a good one. <laughs> that just might be the thumbnail there. Thank you, buddy. Five minutes later. Oh, would you look at that? The Giga's now getting his ass kicked by a Packy group. <laughs> well... <laughs> <laughs> Can't say he didn't have this coming. I'm telling you guys, the real apexes in Path of Titans are the mid-tiers and small tiers. It's not the actual apex. Of right, and Packy has that kick attack now, too. Packy is one of the best dinosaurs in the game in Path of Titans. I'm convinced of it. Along with Pykno, honestly. You know, go figure, they both have charge attacks. Not that I'm asking for them to be nerfed, mind you. I just think it would be neat to have them, uh... Have some other creatures brought in line with them. Granted, it's not like the devs have control over the mods. We got a Packy, a Stiggy, and a Dracorex. We've got all three subspecies here. Look at that. This Giga's just getting tossed around. Although saying that, if the Giga gets a direct hit on a Packy with a bite, then who knows? It could be the end for that Packy. Because all he has to do is kill one of them and the fight's over. This is really hard to watch. The Giga Nautosaurus doesn't stand a chance. Yeah, it's over. <laughs> Mr. Ostrich is so happy he died. <laughs> oh man, this game. So goofy at times. Later. <laughs> Are you joking or not? <laughs> nah, dude, I'm legit for the content, dude. Yo, Mr. Ostrich 23 bringing the heat. It'll definitely take a while. But you know what? That's something I'm willing to do. Yeah, so I have no idea what this guy's attacks are. All I know is stay out of the way of his feet and his head and his tail. Yep, that's why. And that can, like, pretty much chop up our health. I'm not expecting to win this. I'm just doing it for fun. Wow, that actually worked. I mean, hey, we're giving this Argent some fun, you know? And nothing ever attacks him. I cannot believe I just knocked back a sauropod that much as a pike, though. No. This game is so dumb. The biggest dinosaur versus the fastest dinosaur. I'm sure to win because my speed is superior. Ooh. <laughs> I'm actually doing decent as far as the charges go. Oh, watch out, Mr. Ostrich. Do not get bit by that thing. I'm not doing half bad right now. Bam! I love that combo. Ow! That hurt. I didn't even have a proper animation. Mm. 
Watch it, watch it, watch it. You know, maybe I'm a little more intimidated by Argentinos than I ought to be in this game. It's perfectly doable. Especially if we had a bigger pack, too. Oh, God. <laughs> Good thing he misclicked. <laughs> Went for a stomp instead of a tail whip. Ooh, that was close. Man, the Argents are just getting bullied today. There's a Giganotosaurus going for that one over there. Uh-oh. I think this is game over, guys. I think this is how it ends. Unless... Oh, I'm so done. I'm so done. I'm so done. No, <laughs> I'm not done. <gasps> wow. <laughs> do we fight to the death or do we run? I think I'm gonna fight to the death. That's the only way to do it. Granted, I actually don't want to make him sit on the corpse. So I'll just call it off. Is he responding? Okay, so we did like 25% of his health. That's that's not bad <laughs> at all. Considering that we're only two pipe notes, <laughs> that's impressive. All right, I think I'm gonna call the video here. Uh, if you enjoyed it, leave a like, please. Like the Tyrannus, don't do it. I really don't wanna have to extend this video longer. Everyone, say goodbye to Mr. Ostrich. He's a very big help today. I, I like this guy a lot. He's very cool, I'll dance with him for the ending's sake. There we go, he's dancing with me. That That's how you know he's a real one. He's a real pike, no? Alright, peace out, guys.